Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist and herbalist, of course the artist. So today I'm going to continue to create more art and create more art medicine, use art as medicine. So the medicine we talk about is not uh, like uh, Western medicine, you know, go for use uh, antibiotics or, you know, get the surgery, take out the tumor. And or you cannot uh, exactly like a Chinese medicine, take herbs or do acupuncture, put the needles in the body, anything like that. So the medicines so have so many kinds. Anything they can help you mentally, physically, and spiritually balance. So you can use as medicine, just like music, dancing, and meditation, and of course art. So that's why this is a very clear. So art can be used as medicine. So that's the reason and uh, I try to do, and my arts, so they have related with the Chinese medicine. They talk about the yin and yang, and the uh, traditional way they have more yang. So any artist uh, use eyes to capture, copy, later copy somebody, and uh, use eyes, so that's a uh, more from eyes to the mind, create art. So uh, for me, I find uh, uh, I like to blindfold it and create art from my mind to spirit. So more internal, so it's not uh, um, uh, superficial. So that's why, I, that's what I try to push it to get it more internal. So not because we don't have to get, uh, we need to do both, you know, yin and yang. So you have to have yin, you have to have your yin. But unfortunately, all those uh, thousands of years, so we create art, so more emphasis on the yin, not uh, have enough yin. So that's the reason. So the first I'm going to do performance, and uh, I'm going to uh, answer some of uh, the questions. And uh, I do have some fans, you know, and uh, to uh, send me, uh, me the email. Then ask of uh, see how uh, the uh, the arts can affect the physical condition. So that's why I can try to answer some of these questions. So let me uh, performance today and uh, get some performance and move on. So first I'm going to still continue to blindfold it. So in this way, I don't get any disturb from the eyes. So it's more get more in, and also. I'm going to continue to cut the canvas. So how I get into that, so the beginning, I create art, yeah, you can see all these months, uh, years, and there's uh, more, uh, you know, under the surface of the canvas. So then I start my canvas get a little bigger, and then I start to poke some holes, so because I can breathe, I find a little congested. So then uh, when the canvas get even bigger, then I start to feel very uncomfortable. The holes is not big enough. So in this way, that's why I start cutting. So that's why you're gonna be amazing, you know, the progress and the process and uh, the way do things, the way create the art, how they're going to really affect the artist, the mental, physical, and the spiritual condition. So that's why this is a very amazing. Sometimes I really cannot find the language to explain. So a lot of things, either you get it or you're not. And because you are, you know, have to, you have to get it. It's so not me have to tell you because a lot of things I cannot tell you. So I'm sorry about that part. So because I cannot tell you everything, especially I only have a 10 minutes video. And uh, anyway, first I'm going to perform that, and uh, so make sure the art and to start. It.
Okay, I think I have enough for that. So they, I just take off. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So they caught. So I just don't want to my eyes to make a decision where I'm going to cut, how they're going to cut, how many to cut. So that's why I have to plan for it. So the other thing is, you may get a surprise here. I'm going to put these two paintings go together. So that's why I see a lot of things is in progress, so in process. So I find I put the two paintings linked together, then I start exactly see that's what I want. See this is like a become like a 3D paintings. So did you see this uh, paintings? And that's I going to go to glue them together and screw them together. And after that, so I'm going to show you on the YouTube so you can you can you guys can enjoy. It. So thank you for watching. So I really appreciate it. Did you look so cool? Yeah, this is very cool actually. I'm gonna make some uh, photo and uh, some of this. Uh, oh, they still have some paper here. All right. Thank you for watching. And fell him with divine light. Nineteen. To the ordinary person, the body of humanity seems vast. In truth. It is neither bigger nor smaller than anything else. To the ordinary person, there are others whose awareness needs raising. In truth, there is no self, and no other. To the ordinary person, the temple is sacred and the field is not. This, too, is a dualism which runs counter to the truth. Those who are highly evolved maintain an undiscriminating perception. Seeing everything, labeling nothing, they maintain their awareness of the Great Oneness. Thus they are supported by it. 20. The clairvoyant may see forms which are elsewhere, but he cannot see the formless. The telepathic may communicate directly with the mind of another, but he cannot communicate with one who has achieved no mind. The telekinetic may move an object without touching it, but he cannot move the intangible. Such abilities have meaning only in the realm of duality. Therefore, they are meaningless. Within the Great Oneness, though there is no such thing as clairvoyance, telepathy, or telekinesis, all things are seen, all things understood, all things forever in their proper places. 21. Each moment is fragile and fleeting. The moment of the past cannot be kept, however beautiful. The moment of the present cannot be held, however enjoyable. The moment of the future cannot be caught, however desirable. But the mind is desperate to fix the river in place, possessed by ideas of the past, preoccupied with images of the future, it overlooks the plain truth of the moment. The one who can dissolve her mind will suddenly discover the Tao at her feet, and clarity at 